Hello everyone, my name is Agustin Caroso and welcome to our station. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how you can start using fast and easy icons inside of Webflow. So before this, I used to go and search for each icon individually and then download it as an SVG and then upload it to Webflow and then edit it and it was a lot of wasted time. So what I found out, it's a faster and easier way that we can achieve by using a font. And couldn't it be more exciting that this font is called Font Awesome? All right, so let's get started. So the old way that I used to do to get icons for my project was to search on Google on some certain websites and trying to see if I find an SVG and then import it as an image. So it would take a long time Sometimes I wouldn't even find uh, an icon that was part of a bigger package, so they they were they didn't have a visual similarities. So it was it, it was a pain, right? So what I'm using right now for my customers in my new um, projects is I'm using actually a type font, and I'm gonna teach you how to get it. It's called Font Awesome. So you go to fontawesome.com. You're gonna be able to download it for free. So all you have to do is actually create an account, but after that. You can come here into download and then you're going to be somewhere here you're going to be able to download it for your computer and after you do that we need to come here into our webflow project settings let's go to fonts then in custom font you're going to need to upload it it's actually three of them right it's a uh, one for brands one for solid and one normal regular let's go back to the designer Now you won't be able to use it directly. So the way this works is, let's say here, I want a, an arrow that points to the right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the website. I'm gonna search here for arrow. Then here I'm gonna filter it uh, as free because they have free and pro versions. Then I'm gonna grab the one that I want. And I'm gonna come here to where it says copy Unicode glyph, the small arrow, the small icon, right? Copy. And then in here, I'm going to create a text block. And in here, I'm gonna paste it. And after it's pasted, I'm gonna come into type of font and choose the font awesome one. All right, there it is. And then in here, you're gonna be able to uh, change its size and it's color like a regular text isn't that awesome <laughs> all right uh, and it also works with brands so let's say here i want to search facebook instagram or youtube so you're going to be using this quite quite a lot for the footer and the and the links and the social links same process Paste it here, but now we're gonna be need to choose not the regular one, but the brand one. All right, and it works exactly the same way. Isn't that fast, beautiful? And they all part of the same uh, package in the same family, so they are visually similar. Of course, if you need to, you can uh, purchase the full version. So far, I've been good using the free one. And that's it guys, I hope this was helpful. If you're looking for more tricks and tutorials uh, about Webflow, feel free to check out my playlist that I'm going to leave at the, uh, at the bottom of this video in the comments and also at the end of this video in a card. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Bye bye.